When Pep Guardiola went to Bayern Munich, the German newspaper Bild described it as the biggest coaching coup of all time. So now, what is English football about to get when this man comes? Well, Pepe, without question, has got a fantastic work ethic about him and he demands that from all his, his training sessions. So anyone who thinks they're not going to work hard, it's like it won't last long, you know, I'm sure of that. And he has got a great coaching ability, there's no doubt about that. It's, it's interesting because it would be difficult, actually, to replicate what he did at Barcelona. Because it is wonderful little triangle of players, Xavi, Iniesta and Messi. I mean, Xavi and Iniesta, without doubt, they, 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 were, they were the best. When I had that great player schools, and I looked at these two, that's exactly what I saw. That ability to control the middle of the pitch, the first touch on the ball, that angle of passes, you know, they were great. They were fantastic. And Messi combining in between them, you know, that he, he, he's never going to get that again. But a Bayern, not having as good a players, has still created some fantastic success, you know. And I think that obviously Man said they've done they've had a real coup in getting him because he is an outstanding coach. But Pepe won't find it as easy. You know, English football is not easy. And every, every foreign coach has come to England will tell you that. Arsene Wenger, after a few months, he was talking about that. Even Josie, when he came, after his first season, he realised that what he achieved was hard work. So it will be a success. Uh, I don't think it will ever replicate what he did at Barcelona. But that's, that's a high standard. You know, they were the best. I mean, I had to face it twice in the European final. I mean, see what I could do with Xavi and Iniesta. That carousel of passing they've got, you know, and you never touch the ball for about three or four minutes. And when you get it, they're on top of you. You know, it was a great system. So if he is to produce his best work ever, he's going to have to go some at City, is he? Oh, yes. I mean, you, you just, I think you've made the point yourself that what are the big clubs going to do? You know, if, if you take my time at United when, when, when Chelsea came along and Josie came along the scene, the first two years, they phew, quick starts. So I had to accept that challenge. And that's what you have to do when you're a big club with United or, or the other ones, Arsenal and Liverpool. You have to accept the challenge or you're not good enough. Uh, and they, will, they have their own ambitions, don't get me wrong. They will be, they'll be desperate to win that week, just the same as uh, Manchester City. Because Pepe is going there, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee they can win the week, without question. And, and that's the, the beauty of our week. And you've got Tottenham, you've got Man City, you've got Arsenal, Liverpool, United. They'll all be there. They'll all be challenging. And who's to say Leicester can win again? I mean, they've shown unbelievable energy. When do they stop running? You know, this is the thing that it's, it's a great week. And, of course, Pepe will improve City, I'm sure of it. Just before we leave Guardiola, you like the man, don't you? Oh, he's a good guy, yeah. You, you tried to sign him at United. As a, a player, yes, correct. Yeah. I met with him and uh, I was almost signing him. Uh, and it fell through the last bit, whatever. The, um, I can't remember the reason. But um, he's never spoken to me since. <laughs> 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 no, he's not gone well with Pepe. And we had dinner in New York a couple of years back there. Uh, before he went to Bayern. Of course, at that time, neither is new or future, you know. But um, no, he's a good guy.